So you have your hair appointment booked and you want to create a fun reel to show off your new do? Well in this video I'm going to show you how to do a transformation reel so that you can show off your new haircut. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach you how to film yourself so you can film once to teach many. If you want to leverage your expertise to make money, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Wednesday. I just got up, so this is the before. I'm still in my PJs, it's nice and comfy. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to film the before and then I'm going to go get my hair cut and then film the after. I know a lot of you have problems with the Instagram app crashing, so I'm not going to be using my Instagram app for this. Instead, I'm just going to be using my camera app. So you can film this in Instagram if you like, save it as a draft and then continue on filming after your haircut, or you can just film in your camera roll and then edit it later. So the benefit of filming within your camera roll is you don't have to worry that what if Instagram lost my drafts or gonna glitch and I'm gonna lose them. Because this is the first shot, we don't even have to worry as much about aligning. So it's not gonna be as bad if we film it in our camera roll. Okay, so first transition I was gonna do is a finger snap. So I'm gonna start recording. Make my hair look all messy. <sighs> You're gonna wanna do the finger snap a few times, different ways, so you have options for what you wanna use as your first video. I can't snap with this hand. Also, make sure that you're looking at your camera lens so that you're making contact with the viewer rather than looking at yourself. Okay, I filmed a bunch of finger snaps. Now let's go on to the next one. So for the next one, I was going to do a transition to go my hair. So I just gotta film this a couple times. The more dramatic the transition, the better it's gonna play in the end. So if you wanna act tired or pick an emotion for before and after, that makes it fun. Because if you're smiling all the time, then the transition isn't as much, even though I can't help but smile all the time. It depends on you, really. So with this one, you're just gonna do something, and then you're just quickly moving it to on top of your head. Let's try again. Oh. You also want to make sure that your head is eyes aren't all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. You want to stay in the middle because whatever's on top and bottom does get cut off when you're viewing the reel within Instagram's feed rather than in the reel's feed. I suggest filming multiple transitions mainly because you're going to have different options and then you can use them throughout your feed and if it's a big transition so you're getting something big done like you might want to show it down the line or maybe you want to do it as a flashback a year later or whatever. I know a haircut's not that significant, but you, just so you get in the habit of creating multiples. Okay, so the last one I said I was going to do was an arm. So I'm just going to be tired and... Okay. <sighs> there we go. I'm gonna actually add one more transition into this. I really like doing the head turn and I think the head turn could be cool because I'm getting my hair cut. So with the head turn, you just look into the camera and then you turn your head in one direction. When we start again, then we're gonna start from the head turn and come back. Okay, my hair is looking awfully messy now, so this is perfect. Let's <sighs> just be like... <sighs> There we go. The more you start filming, the more ideas you're gonna get. So don't just stop at filming at once, film it multiple times. You're not gonna have your before later. So the more variety and the more you film, the better it's gonna get. Don't just film once and stop. Cause plus, this gets really fun. The more you film, the more fun it is. Ugh. <sighs> 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 Perfect. So I've got tons of befores and now it's time for me to go get my hair cut. So see you soon. I'm back. Now it's time to film the second part of the reel featuring 
for the new haircut. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Instagram Reels and I'm going to start creating a reel. For my reel, I'm first going to add the first part of the transition. So I'm gonna swipe up, I took some photos at the hair salon, and then pick which one I wanna do. Let's say, let's start with this last one, where I walk in. Okay, so what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to trim this video to the transition. So I have that and I wanna trim it to where I do the transition. So for the transition, I wanna cut it right before the action and trim the beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna add that clip. So now I'm gonna to wanna to film the second part of it. So I'm just gonna set up my shot so I like my shot. And then, so I'm gonna start with this and I'll be like, yeah. So the great thing about filming in Reels is that you have the Align tool. So you can see at the bottom of my menu here, I can press that and the Align button comes up. What this allows me to do is I could actually align my shot so it looks like my last shot. So when I align the walls, I'm just looking at the edges of the walls to make sure the edges line up. Once an object appears to be solid, it means it lines up. So you see when it's like, it looks like there's multiples, then it's not. But as I line up, we're just looking at the lightning bolt. You can see I can move it forward or back until it's lined up. It still needs to go down a little. Let's see. This is a lot of fine tuning just to line up. It would have been easier if I would have not moved my camera. But since I did, we're here, so. Oh, that looks good. And I am right here. So you can see you can line yourself up. Once your face looks solid, there you go. So you can see that that is perfectly aligned. I can have my hand here. There we go. So now let's uh, put the timer on so I have some time to Get ready for it. I'm gonna to wanna to change my timer countdown from three seconds to 10 seconds, just so I have extra time so I don't have to stress about it only being three seconds. So let's set timer. Let's turn that on. So first make sure my face is aligned so my eyebrows are solid. There we go. Now let's move my hand in here. There we go, now let's see how that looks. So I'm gonna go to preview. Okay, so you can see that the transition is a little bit off. I just have to go in and fine tune it. So to fine tune, edit your clips, just click on the preview button and then you're gonna see edit clips here at the bottom. So edit clips and then whichever clip I click on, that's the one I can edit. I'm just gonna play around with when the first clip ends and the second one begins. So let's try this one. Where does this one begin? It begins right after the transition. So let's get this. I can go back to all clips and preview both of them together. So this one just needs to be trimmed a little bit. There we go, let's see that. All clips and then I can preview. I can move the white cursor, the white ball to where I wanna preview it and I can preview it. Ooh, I like that. And then let's just trim the end there so I don't touch my phone. Go to all clips, put my cursor to where I wanna preview it. Oh, there we go. So we got the finger snap one done. I'm gonna go, before I save it as a draft, I'm actually gonna save the reel like this just so I have it for backup and so I don't get all upset when I lose it.
because sometimes you lose your drafts and it sucks. So to save your reel, this will save it. If you have music added to this, this will save it without music. But you can see the arrow with the line in the bottom. That's your save thing. And then just wait for it. Come on, save. There we go, save it again. So I can see here, I have my reel saved as is. Now let's save this as a draft. So we're gonna go to next and save as a draft. Okay, so let's go on to the next transition. So I'm gonna swipe up. Now let's go on to the next one. So I'm gonna swipe up and I'm gonna find the next clip. So the next transition, which one do we do? Okay, the hair one. So I'm gonna go through this and see if I can find one that I like the beginning for. Perfect. So for this one, I'm gonna cut this reel at where my head is fully covered. So you can see right here, as soon as I go over my head, then I can cut it. There we go, so I trim that clip to that. Let's add that and let's film the second part. For this one, I'm just going to put my timer on, and put it on to three seconds and then I can trim this later because my duration is longer than my clip's gonna be. So I'm just gonna allow it to set the timer. The reason I'm using the timer and not just pressing the button is because if you use the timer, it's just gonna hold it and you don't have to have your finger there. And because I'm gonna be using my hands to move the tripod, then I don't want to have to hold this um, while I do it as well. So set that timer, three, two, one. So start here. Okay, I did the same motion. Let's try. Let's see how that's gonna look. Okay, so now let's trim this so that it looks more seamless. So I'm gonna go to preview. I'm gonna go to edit clips. I'm gonna click on that first clip. Gonna trim this one just a little. There we go. Go back to all clips. I'm gonna click on my next clip. And so I'm gonna start this one from as I'm moving forward. There we go. Now let's go back to all clips so we can preview it. I think I need just a little bit more time with it going back. Not much though, just a little. There we go. Let's trim this one a little bit more. Let's preview that. There we go, done. Okay, so let's go to next, save as draft. Let's go to the next one. So we're gonna add, add, reel, swipe up, and let's find our next one. Let's try this one. So with this arm one, I want this arm to be in the middle of my face so that when it because it's covering my face and then so when I uncover it, it's gonna have the new transition. So I'm gonna add this clip, there we go. Okay, so I could just start here and finish the movement, but I suggest that for this one, you do the entire movement because it's gonna look different if you just go like this versus if you go like this. It's gonna look more natural. So I'm going to put my timer on, three seconds is enough. Make sure I'm aligned. Wait till my timer goes off. There we go, let's stop that. And let's go to preview. So we're gonna edit that second clip. Let's go to all clips so we can preview it, we can move our cursor. There we go, let's see that again. Oh, nice, that looks awesome. Okay, next, save as drafts. 
And our final one. Okay, so swipe up. Which one is it? I think it's this one. It's the head turn. Oh, I like this one. There we go. That one's fun. So I'm gonna, what I wanna do is I wanna cut it while my hair is in motion. So I wanna trim it to about there so that it's gonna seem more seamless. The more you cut on the action, the more seamless the transition's gonna be. Now I wanna set it up in this area. Let's move this over right there. Perfect. And so now I'm gonna have, actually I'm gonna move this more here. Cause I want my sign in there. Perfect. And now I'm just gonna go back and then have it done. Okay, so let's set up the timer. There we go, so we filmed that one. Let's preview that. Go to edit clips because I know I started it as the timer went off and I still have to trim the first action. So I wanna cut that where my hair, see it's still covering my face, but it's in motion. There we go. Oh, I love that one. That one's my favorite. Let's save that one. So make sure I have it. There we go. Saved. Next, save as drafts. So if I save these as my drafts, whenever I'm ready to um, actually post them or if I find t things I want to add to them, all I have to do is I can go to, I'll exit out of here, I'll go to my profile, I'll go into my reels, and then I'll see my drafts right there. So then I can click on my video, I can click edit, I can actually go back in and edit these clips a little bit more, which is awesome. This feature is new for drafts, but it, it's really great because before you weren't able to edit the drafts anymore. So let's get done out of there. I could add my text, so whatever I wanna add on top of it, and then I can post my reel. So saving them to your drafts is great because you'll have these ready to go for whenever you think of some inspiration that will go along with it. You can even add music after, so you just click on the music note. You can get rid of the camera audio. You can talk voice over it, add sound effects or music. Just click on music and whatever music you wanna add is available right there. So I hope that this inspires you to create a reel from your next haircut. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. I have videos out each and every week. Until next time, peace.